It's Ken Lizzie with another review. This time we got a big SUV. It's Infiniti QX80. Now it's got a 5.6 V8, a 7 speed automatic. And is the image power do we have? We have 400 horsepower and 413 torque. Well, cool. And it'll tow 8,500 pounds. And we're actually towing uh, 82, 8,280. So we're not quite there. We give us some room the payload, which take your tongue weight off of that. We're up here in Poudre Canyon again, watching all the raptors flying down the rocks and flying down the river. But, yeah, we're going to take this for driving to see how it all handles the curves in the mountains. We've got a mystertruck.com for all of our truck and trailer accessories and reviews. Awesome! Come join us for this review of the Infinity. I even wore a hat in here. There's enough headroom for that. Yeah, a little tiny baby moonroof. Yeah. Yep. And then you got your um, your back hatch opener button here. I'm guessing this is heated steering wheel. Yeah. Your sensor button. Um, power door on off switch. And then these here, you can actually fold the back seats. Well, good. Well, I'm glad you didn't push the open the door things. I don't know if it'll clear the jack or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, this yeah. has got the old-fashioned kind of park brake where you push it on, push it off. It's no yep. buttons. It's not an e-brake, that's for sure. Yep. And this has, like, I think 16 of these Bose speakers in it, too. Yeah, those are real nice. Really cool. I think it's a 12.3 inch, but it's a big one, big screen. I think this is that's how you make it lighter and darker. Oh well, now yeah, that makes that sense. There. Yeah, lighten up that stupid dash because I got the headlights on. Oh, well, you need you, even more. I knew, I knew a young lady would figure this out. <laughs> now somewhere is a oh yeah. Throw the coffee. Well, that's your coffee. That's for that. Okay, get down the shift to seven speed. And what there's a what all's in there? You got an audio button here. You can hit the menu button and it brings you to the menu on the screen. Awesome. And then map voice, turn that on and off probably. There's your yeah. back button for the screen. Your camera button's down here too. Oh yeah, I think it's got a front camera, it's got a lot of cameras. Yeah. And you can navigate the screen with this here. Oh, cool. Which is nice because then your hand's not reaching way up there. Oh well, yes, that's very nice to have it all to close to you, you're right. And it asks, it's like a little tall bully. It every which way. It's making a lot of noise. Now up here this knob I know it's got tow haul mode looks like it's got what four high four low and the automatic I like an automatic four-wheel drive in case you know you can't feel the ice underneath you. Mm -hmm. There's snow mode and snow this is everything. Mode, yeah. and I don't know if you can switch it. What, what does the knob do? I think the knob. Does, does it show stuff in the dash or? Yeah, that just is going to put us in oh, four high oh, okay. or auto. Yeah, that's what it says in the dash, gives you the same readout you're and doing And then these down. you yeah. actually have got to press the button. Yeah, I'm really glad it does have tow haul mode. I always use tow haul mode. Now, let's see. What's behind door number one? Door number one. Let's oh, see. yeah, look in there. You got your phone charger here. I'll show you. I was wondering why or how you'd be able to see that your phone was charging, but then I discovered that this light turns on. Oh, yeah, cool. I kept pushing that button yesterday. There's some USB ports, and I'm so glad it's got a 12 volt port. I use those all the time. Mm -hmm. And I'll show you that when we plug in the uh, Tucson tire pressure monitor. So that's just about all that, and then up here, just got the moonroof control, and what else? Some more lights, huh? Some more lights, yeah. Okay. Bunch of different lights. It's got a decent dash, kind of tells you everything. Yeah, it's easy to read. Oh, yeah. Now, we, did we talk about that stem on the other side, but no lights? No, there is no oh. lights on that other stem. Okay, and that's this one, too. Why would they not put a light in them? What is this stem? That's not blinkers. Is that cruise control with the windshield wipers? Your wipers, yep. I guess they side. want you to guess. And on your side, actually, when you're looking at the light knob, it's not lit up at night. Why in the world would you have a light knob that you can't see? But it's a luxury vehicle. This thing is pretty heavy. Yeah, luxury, heavy, 
body on frame and then it's got there's my brake controller yeah get that out of the way so we can see what's in there Center here. oh look somebody left their their pills must be me <laughs> and keys and my camera that's yeah. pretty deep it is oh. pretty deep yeah and then you got your plug switch yeah so you turn plug that in. on and off yeah awesome now wait a minute i see a hole in the lid throw yeah, that back in there I and let's see what in the that world too, that does that there must be a second latch or something. Secret latch, let's see. Without breaking it. Yeah. Well, it's I don't be even a... see another latch. Well, that's weird. Well, why in the world does it have that big cutout? I guess it if you stick something. It open. It has to, you would think. I think Unless maybe it, is there from a latch the on the back. back. Oh, uh, look at that. We'll show that from the back, but that is cool. I didn't know that did that. So yeah. the people in the back can sneak in and get your stuff sneak you got up here. There. Yeah, the sneaky rascals. Well, Very that's cool. Nice oh yeah, the I seats, look how thick yet. they are. Look how thick they are. They're thick everywhere. I've never seen seats quite this big, except in luxury hotels. Mm -hmm. But this is cool. So you fit in there pretty good? Oh yeah. I'm glad it's got headroom. That's always a big thing for me. Yeah. Let's check out the second row. Don't go away, Mr. Truck.tv. We'll be right back. How thick that is, man! Yeah, super comfortable. It's got piping too. I like piping and stitching, yep. and, and it's all it's he heated and cool or whatever it is. Yep, heated, cool back seats as well. You got TVs up here, which is really cool. It looks yeah. like you can move them. Oh yeah, well that's cool. They're Flip adjustable. Them forward, yep. I like that. Cool. Plug your headphones in. So yeah, everybody has to hear the movie. Oh, well, sure. Um, and we'll talk about the console in a little bit. Yeah, show me how you get to that third row seat. All right. <laughs> yeah, they got plastic covers on stuff. There was that one down that there. Here. Oh, cool. It folds up, up twice. Yep. That's good. Just watch your head. We don't have helmets on. Oh, right. Well, you're well, no thigh support, so yeah. it's a little too tall. And I don't know, this is independent suspension, even though it has a body on frame. Right. You, usually these have more room back there for your feet. I don't, I don't know how I feel about that, yeah. Yeah. And there's not much room, so little tiny kids can fit back yeah, here. Yeah, it's got all those oh shoot handles, that's about right. Oh shoot handles everywhere. Okay, cool. Well, I'll check out the center consoles in the back. Did you find something oh, else? Yep, I found something. These are adjustable. Oh, oh so man, look at that! You can actually move the That's seats. That's cool. So it's a, it's a, you can change the angle and get comfy. I guess if you lay down, you might get a little more leg room. I don't know. Uh, but that's, that's cool. That's about as far as it goes back. Okay. It's a little comfier. Yeah, cool. That's neat. Yeah. I've got a big center console here. Well, yeah. Can you reach everything from there? It's great. It is a big console. You got more junk back there, and then you got cup holders and all these other little trays up here. Cup holders up wow. here. Wow! Never seen such a big console in the middle oh, in the it's back big. seat. Cool. Uh, squeeze out of here. Yeah. Not for a big. Person. Yeah, it's. I don't know if that seat's adjustable, sliding or not. Probably not, because it's got a hump in it. Okay. Well, now, yeah, lift that up. Yeah, that is an awesome console. Is there any, guess, was there a cup holder down there? Or what's this do? Oh, wow, there we yeah. go. Yeah, your headphones from yeah. the movie. A lot of storage. This is awesome. Yeah, there's a lot of storage. And what all does the controls there do? So you've got your um, seat warmers. Okay. you got more chargers. Your um, air control for the back seat is nice and then you can also here's your secret wow that is just too cool so that's the top part of the lid you still have to i don't know what you can do Speak to get to the there. bottom you have to I guess you guys got the top and the people in the front have the bottom 
Mm -hmm. Wow, okay, let's check out the hatch. We're at the hatch okay, where the hitch the hooks hat. up. Let's see if we can open that pick and cotton thing. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Okay, it's a power lift. Awesome. Cool, look at it. It's got all these steps. Aluminum plates, I guess if you're running and jumping, you can use all that. And now, let's see, show me. So how do we get rid of these seats? Mm, After I've hauled everybody to the airport. Oh yeah. Yep. Seat belts for three, it's cool. Right seat. I guess if you just press it once, it's... Oh cool, that'd be great when you're hauling your family to the airport, you just push that button, it shoves them out. It shoves it right out. Don't yeah. Don't worry with any <laughs> lovers. <laughs> cool. Wow, Easy one button. Easy. I like that. Usually you got to hold the button. You're doing good. Yeah. Pretty nifty. I like that setup, huh? Uh-huh. And then here, this is my Kurt Echo Kurt, because this truck doesn't have a brake controller, so I'm actually using that with my phone to run the brakes. It'll do them automatically with your foot brake, but if I want to hit the regular trailer by itself and not with the truck, then I have a button on my phone and look at that I thought it was gonna be so close to the Gen Y hitch but it wasn't it never hit and I turned some pretty tight corners so I guess that works now there's my new Gen Y hitch yes there's my new Gen Y hitch and this one is I'll show you the number of it it's a GH 1014 and this is for a two inch receiver so it's a torsion hitch it happens to be the boss so you got rubber tubes in here like a axle has on a horse trailer and that's what flexes so it isolates the trailer from the truck and we're going to do some experiments to see if running the torsion hitch with the weight distributing hitch and the spring arm is all hooked up if that makes a difference on the ride that's the test we'll be doing tomorrow but that's cool and that hitch is rated at uh, I think it's 11,000 pound trailer it's 1100 pound tongue weight goes down to 400 pounds and we will have about a eight almost eight eighty three hundred so that's 830 pound tongue weight on it now. That's what the first test will be. And then we'll put another weight distributing hitch on it, see if it all fits tomorrow. But yeah, that is pretty cool. Everybody's up here with a kayak today. Or a rafter. Cool. But the water's going that way. Are you guys getting up here? Wow. That, that sucker is so cool. cool. Everybody's having fun. Man, I like the nose on this one. This is more refined than the last several of them. Oh, let's see what this big 5.6. This 5.6 V8 is really a well known engine and it lasts forever. It's been a very dependable engine for Nissan. V6, 5.6. How much power did you say this had? 400 horsepower. Cool. All covered in plastic, of course. What size of wheel is that? Got 22-inch wheels. Well, Great that's big, big wheels. Big. I like the wheeled way it looks. Yeah, it looks nice. Nice running board. It all fits. Luggage rack on top. Cool. I was so glad to see that this had a 12 volt outlet in it. Some of this new stuff doesn't. This is my Tucson monitor. It shows in there, let's see, what is that? That is air pressure, and then it'll show voltage, 13.1. And then this here should drop down to, no, that's PSI. There's your pressure right there. So now it goes down and does the Fahrenheit. There's the temperature of each tire. So nice to know that, saves your tire life. I use these all, I got well, three different trailers that we use. Got six all together. I'm still working on a couple boat trailers. Now tell me, Izzy, truth or dare? No, tell me the truth. <laughs> what is your favorite thing about the Infinity 80? Um, my favorite thing is it's super comfortable. The yeah. seats are just super, super comfy, and the leather is really nice too. So that's probably my favorite thing. It's very luxury and, and comfortable. 
Yeah, like uh, first class on the airplane. Yep, exactly. You could go on a long car ride and not have a sore butt. So that way. that's good. That's good. No yeah. extra sore butt. So the QX80, what the most thing you don't like, or the one thing you don't like? Um, probably the back seats. Oh, the very, the very, very third row. Back seat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The floor room. There's just not very much of it. Yeah, that surprises me. Usually these, these independent rear ends, they have more room than that, so yeah, I guess so they'll work on that. Can only fit really tiny kids back there. That's true. Well, here we are again, Poudre Canyon, and all the rafters are in the water. They're thick up here. The water's high, which is good, and there's a lot of white water. But uh, we're not going to go rafter really today, high. are we? Yeah, it is. It's, it's right at the edge of the banks, and, you know, a lot of that... I'm sure there's an early snow melt just like there was in um, Yellowstone because of the mm -hmm. heat. Yeah. Once it's hot, it kind of changes everything. It's going to be a long time before it gets up to the road. But anyway, and I still can't swim. I guess I should learn how to do that. Look at all those. <laughs> you know, there's kids on there. Yeah. There's a paddle board. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we're in this 2022 Infiniti QX80, which is their biggest SUV. It's a luxury SUV. It's body on frame, the stuff I like, so we're towing with it. And maximum towing on this is 8,500 pounds. And so, which is quite a bit. I mean, there's some that are more than that, but I mean, that's that's respectable. It's nice yeah, to have body on frame. So, pretty decent. the only thing I don't like is it's got a rear air on, which I normally like rear air, and that does help us a bit. But a little harder to hook up because you got to wait till it goes all the way up before you attach, and then you can measure from there and you're adjusting your hitch. But Nissan, for some reason, has the slowest air compressor on earth. I don't know how they did that because GM will zoop. And these go, you know, it's like watching grass grow. Yeah. So I sit there and stare at it. It's slow. Yeah, but it self-adjusts, so that's kind of nice. We're trying out a different Gen Y hitch this, this week, trying to figure out if a torsion hitch will help weight distributing hitch. So I'll be doing much more testing tomorrow, and we'll give you that video, show you what, what I learned. Because several people are starting to do that, put some kind of suspension on a weight distributing hitch, but or a cushion. We'll figure that one out, but yeah. Poudre Canyon is gorgeous. At least that's what the rafter said. That white water, it's awesome. But yeah, the, the river's pretty full. Now this puppy here has a, uh, we'll tell you about the details of the powertrain and all that. It's got a nice long warranty. Talk to me about that. And we're drinking coffee. You know. Gotta have the coffee. I know this is not an advertisement, but I'm going to give Jax a plug. J-A-X. <laughs> this coffee is so good. And it's cheap. That's what I like. Cheap and good. And the Jack's kind of not really downtown. It's more they sell clothing and pots and pans mm -hmm. and all kinds of stuff. The other yeah. one sells machinery and stuff, you know, or farm, farm supplies. Equipment. Yeah. Yeah, that's where I get my animal feed. Well, that's they cool. They have good prices on that, too. Yeah, and that's, that's awesome to find that kind of combination. But this is a 16-ounce latte, vanilla latte, with a couple squirts of raspberry. So you got the foamed milk, you got... The espresso, all mm -hmm. that stuff, four bucks, and that's adding all those extra flavors. But anyway, this that's where I get coffee. It's so cool. I finally found a place because I can't afford Starbucks eight dollar coffee anymore. Yeah, craziness. It is. That's what's cool about having easy drive. I can drink coffee, I can do for now, play with my camera. I'm your chauffeur. Yes. Oh, there are bikes on this trail. Estes Trail is just like solid bikes. Now we've got some here too. And they always run the narrowest road. What's up with that? They never run a road that's got an actual yeah. margin on the outside. Same, very smart. But I guess they went the scenery and we try to work around them and not hurt any of them. But just another part of the highway you gotta get used to. Oh, it's good coffee. Espresso wakes you up. <laughs> Man, a bus full of rafters. Big old bus. Man, look at that with the trailer. Holy moly. How do you get those way up there? I don't know. You must throw them hard. <laughs> yeah. In the mountains, it's so much cooler. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know what it shows here for the temperature. I guess it shows 66. Oh, that's 66. That's yeah. pretty good. That's pretty that's good. That's good for, yeah, the, June. the 
98 degrees that it's been. I've been kind of getting sick of that. Yeah. Decides to record. Izzy, what do you think of these seats? I love them. I love the color, the, the quilted stitching. Um, I like all the leather up front here. So you're not just looking at plastic. Yeah, and they're, they're thick. I've never seen this thick a seat. Except in luxury hotels. Yeah, they're just awesome. super thick and comfy. It's like a lazy boy. Yeah, they are. <laughs> I wish they folded down flat and I could take a nap. Yeah. It's cool. I like the contrast between the brown and the black. And that looks too cool. And a big console in the back. See if I can swing this camera around enough to see it. Big console. Captain's chairs in the back. A lot of room in that console. And it's got a third row, too. Somewhere back there. I don't know if I had to focus on that one or not. What year is this one? It's a uh, 2022. Yeah. I wonder what year my stepmom has because she's she really likes hers and it looks just like this. Yeah. It might well, they, be. they came out in 2011 with this oh, okay. model and then then. And then they changed the nose several times. And this is a more refined nose. I like this for a while. They had a great big giant bump in the front. Mm -hmm. Looked like a whale or something. But they're paddling fast when I get to the bridge. Because yeah. <laughs> you don't want to run into that cement. <clears throat> wow, there's a good place right there. They're watching all the rafters. Well, cool. That was fun. This road is like covered with rafters and boat and uh, buses that pick them up and trailers. Mm -hmm. I've never seen so many rafters in my life. I usually go by an I-70 and I see a few, but this is like wall-to-wall -wall rafters. I guess we'll have to get us a rafter so we can come up here and yeah, paddle yeah. down the rocks and we Try rocks we can ourselves. Hit. Yeah, I get some elbow pads and some helmets and uh -huh. <laughs> we'll go to town. Okay, I was getting my Tucson up to snuff here. Curvy roads. That makes it fun on a motorcycle or any vehicle. I always like the curves. Even pulling a trailer is not so bad. No, it's not bad at all. This seems to be pulling pretty well. Yeah, I think it's heavy enough. It's almost 6,000 pounds. I think it's heavy enough to where that makes a difference on pulling a trailer too that controls the trailer. Mm -hmm. And we've got weight distributing hitch with sway control. And we've got the new Gen Y cushion cushion coupler back there it's a boss kind of like me the boss <laughs> but anyhow Let's see what do I like the most about this oh, that's a good question well of course I like the 5.6 v8 that's a powerful engine it's been it's proven itself over the decades actually so hopefully they'll even they'll update it make it even better you better feel much because I think this gets 19 on a highway so you know on the seven speed I'm not quite sure about that because there's a lot of you know there's eight speeds and ten speeds I'm not sure where why seven is there but that's what they picked so that's what their their engineers wanted to do I love the interior too like you said the seats mm -hmm. the thing I don't like about it I know it's independent it's got air right in the back which I love it levels up the trader even though it's a slow air system but um, that's probably what I don't like is that it's a slow air system when you're trying to adjust a hitch to fit on it, you sit there and stare at it for a long time before it gets all the way up so you can adjust where your setting is on your adjustable hitch. We use that Gen Y every, every week. And that's what we do. And that's why we use all the stuff we sell and all the stuff we test, you know, and that's why we know it's good because we use it all the time. But anyway, um, yeah, I can't fault it too much other than it's kind of outdated and hasn't really changed in, you know, 2011 to now is a long time. But not for if you're a Japanese company. They seem to go on forever like the Toyota in their 15-year Tundra. But, uh, yeah, it's it's comfortable. Now, I did notice it was a little more bumpier than I thought it would be for this kind of suspension. But that was empty. I noticed when I got in, it was bouncing quite a bit. But I like the new nose. And I like the body on frame. But uh, it's weird, too. And I've tried different things with it. It almost looks like you got to have your seatbelt off unlock the door by itself or whatever it is and, so, and I, we did switch that switch didn't we i wonder if we that changed did. it there's a door switch i'm not sure we'll test it to see if we can open the door without having to push the unlock button that's getting old but uh yeah they need to put some lights on those stems coming around the steering wheel to show yeah, you the lights yeah that's true they do need to 
Yeah. It's, it's, I haven't driven it in the dark, so I don't. <laughs> yeah, that's what I usually get these. The I first time I drive them is in the dark. You try to fumble around, figure out all the controls as yeah. fast as you can. I'm sure that's annoying. Yeah. The warranty on this is pretty good. The uh, powertrain is four years, seventy thousand, which is I think class leading. The bumper to bumper is four years, sixty thousand. And this is the Infiniti QX80 Sensory four wheel drive. Okay. And that's, so that's the top of the line. Mm -hmm. And it gives you the 17 speakers, the Bose speakers. And then, of course, the quilted leather, the rear, rear, rear seat screen. It's the middle row seat that has the screen. It's adaptive control for the lights, speed sensitive steering. Yeah, and it's, uh, I, I love that cruise control that's adaptive. The fit and finish is good on it. I like the wheels, those 22 inch wheels. We talked about that. Um, the largest infinity yeah it's a 12.3 touch screen but it's a tow 8500 pounds which seems to be quite a bit doesn't so. drive itself though <laughs> no, that'll have to be the next model <laughs> well, now we're going down the mountain let's see what that there's a tow haul mode let me push that it should come up in your screen you see it on the left side kind of past the mm -hmm. middle below the middle is there a Seeing it come up, maybe I don't want to see the light on top. It's, yeah, they they don't exactly put them in a really obvious place either. I've done that with them before, but it should show you somewhere. I cannot see it from here. The automatic headlights are on. The brights are on. Huh. Oh, it's over here. Can you see it now? Is mm -hmm. it on now? It's okay. On now. Yeah. So that would be nice to have that changed a little bit. Man, did I say 17 speakers? 17. Wow. You know, I was listening to rock and roll on the way up here, and it sounded good. It had a good bass. I have no idea where the Wolfers are. I see mostly the tweeters, the smaller speakers. Mm -hmm. Bose is a good company. I've always liked their, their systems. Here's our best curves right in here. Oh, yeah. So you could probably do some trailer drifting on a curve like yeah. that. Just let it loose. on the brakes aren't you? Shows right there. Yep. On the thing. On the thing, I've got such big terminology. On the thing, me too. Yep. <laughs> oh, did you see that sign? It was a crossing uh -oh. and a guy who's carrying a skateboard. <laughs> Somebody drew it in. This, this is why we don't do Saturdays, I guess. Everybody and their cousin is all up here. Either on a raft or a kayak or just climbing kayak, the mountains. Yeah. Hiking. The guy asked me if I was photographing the, the rafters. I go, what rafters? Yeah. <laughs> well, easy. Did you have fun today? I did. It was fun seeing all the rafters, too. Yeah, it makes you want to get in the water and play. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and subscribe and like our channel, and we will see you at the gas station. Yes, sir. We can play. I hope you liked it. And we're trying to stay in business, so please tell your friends about us. And we'll see you next review, which will be getting them out of order, but we've got a new Chevy coming next week. So I probably have one more Raptor, Raptor, Raptor video, and then we got the Tundra video, then we got the Taco video. And then we've got this infinity. So we've got a bunch coming. We'll see you at the gas station. See you soon.